Hello again. Uh, it's it's working fine, but I had some problems actually. And let me replicate everything. So I have five volts there, as you can see, uh, 30 milliamps. Uh, I will close it. So the power is off. Everything is off. And uh, <clears throat> I will do this. I will short out this power supply for a second, for two, uh, just to discharge whatever the charging is there. So now we are powering it on back. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> So uh, right now, if I'm pressing this button, it will not work. One, it, uh, the counting is working, that, but that uh, flip-flop uh, uh, LED is not working. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, zero, nothing works. And I did this like one million times. Uh, and I try, I try to understand what the hell is going on. And I switch everything here, all the wires. And when I move the wire, when I press the buttons, uh, the button again, it worked. Hoppa, I said, this is very interesting. Why did it work when I changed one fucking wire? When I took it out and I put it, I put another wire in. Mm. The, the explanation is that this, the uh, flip-flop is latching, but it's also latching, is, is uh, impeding somewhat this other chips here, this output from, from this pin is affected by this uh, input uh, that is latched. Somehow, don't put me, I don't know how to explain it, but this is this is what it appears to be. So what I did pretty much is uh, take out, if I'm touching the wire, I'm not sure how well can you see, but it is flickering, like 50 hertz flickering. And uh, now it's not flickering. But if I'm touching the wires, it is flickering. So I'm pretty much giving some inputs. Now I catch it, catch it when it was at the off. Yeah, now it's off. Yeah, you see, I'm not touching anything. I, I am in the air. But this guy is sensing my 50 hertz <laughs> through me. Eh? Eh? Now, I didn't do anything, really. I didn't touch. I, now I'm touching. Eh? 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 <laughs> Stay there. So that, uh, that input is extremely sensitive. And it's also affecting some outputs as well. Believe it or not. So this, uh, what I did, basically, I, I switch it on and off a couple of times by, by touching the wire like this, you know? By touching the wire or putting it directly to uh to plus five volts and to minus and uh and then i put it back to its uh output here and now if i'm so it it got some on offs already so it's kind of uh destabil destabilized from its state that it was before and now when i'm counting again one two three four five six seven is off and now it will be get it will get on again now and now it's working absolutely perfectly so that's uh that's a very 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 interesting behavior i I had a ton of problem to figure it out. Uh, half a day I stayed, probably a couple of good hours I stayed to, to understand why is uh, when I remounted everything is is not working, <laughs> following the exact same uh, schematic. All right, a slight modification for a forty twenty seven flip flop. Um, I got I got a um, correction from someone from a good friend from a good American friend uh, from pin from pin five and six. Uh, this uh, two pins five and six. Uh, represents J and K, um, and this should be put to plus five volts, to high. So th is exactly what I did here. I put them to high, and theoretically this should uh, st stabilize the the circuit. Let's do that test uh, that I did uh, earlier again. So closing the power supply, uh, shortening and discharging whatever is in charge uh, there. Yeah, putting a piece of metal and discharging it. Open it again, and. Uh, Last time wasn't doing correctly, wasn't switching, but let's see. Now, six and seven. Ta -da! Three, four, change, plus seven. And yes, it appears to be stab stabilized without uh, uh, needing of touching that wire and resetting it manually. All right, thank you very much.